Vope is back here with another video. Today I'm gonna be uh going over a care a guide and how I provide for my blue spotted salamanders. So uh being uh this is not like a, a tutorial on how to take care of them. This is what I do and for my salamanders what's been working for me. So I just got them in this closet. Um that's basically the same temperature as it is outside. And um, these guys are native to where I live, so it's perfect for them. They, they're already used to these type of weather conditions. And there's a window right here to keep the moss uh, growing and photosynthesizing. So um, I got about five blue spotted salamanders in this 15.5 uh, little Rubbermaid tote, little uh, container. And uh, I said this is um, a pretty good size enclosure for them because salamanders don't move much in fact um i don't you won't be seeing any at all right now because it's daylight and they are nocturnal so there's actually one right here sticking its head out of his burrow but that's as far as you're gonna see these guys during the daytime because they gotta really um they prefer to stay like moist and damp so they'll stay under logs and under the leaf litter during the daytime and uh, they they make these little burrows too. Try to feed this guy. Look at him; he's hungry. <laughs> That's just a little wax worm. You can feed these guys wax worms and uh, mealworms, worms. I don't usually feed them during the daytime, so that was actually a surprise seeing that. There's also some wood lice and other couple bugs in here that they can eat there's worms in here as you can see by this pile of worm poop um so it's real a natural environment for them they can hunt for their own food in here um there's a couple inches worth of, of substrate and soil for them to dig in and create their own little holes and tunnels and uh, i have this this bowl right here to i'm, I'm gonna try and breed them so they they uh being amphibians they have their eggs in water and then they hatch out of the water and they crawl onto land like frogs. They have a tadpole stage. So uh, this is in hopes of them laying their eggs in here and hopefully breeding during the springtime. So I'll keep, I'll keep you guys posted on the progress of that. But um, I can't keep any promises because it's something that breeding these guys, even uh, some zoos have had trouble with doing. So um, just to try and get more populations in the wild this is one of those uh, salamanders that I was talking about. Could be in your backyard without you even knowing the whole time. They're uh, actually native to where I live, Wisconsin. And um, I, I didn't know these guys existed for quite some time before actually encountering them in the wild.